I have two different integrals here, both very similar, but they're both really common. So you'll definitely want to know how to do these because they'll certainly come up on one of your tests. And the problem is you want to integrate sine squared theta d theta or cosine squared d theta. So the way we do this traditionally is we use the half angle identities. So let me remind you of what that means. And I would just recommend to memorize these things. Sine squared is one minus cosine of two theta over two, and cosine squared theta equals one plus cosine two theta over two. So pretty similar. Uh, the only difference is the sine is a minus, the cosine gets a plus. And I would just recommend to memorize those. I'm not going to get into the derivation or anything like that. Um, easier just to memorize these. So that means that this antiderivative is just going to turn into 1 minus cosine of 2 theta over 2 d theta. And likewise, this integral is going to be 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2 d theta. And now these are much easier to do. Uh, both of them have a factor of 2 in the denominator, so I can just pull out that 1 half. And now I can just perform these antiderivatives. So the antiderivative of 1 with respect to theta would be theta minus. The antiderivative of cosine of 2 theta that would be sine of 2 theta, but by the chain rule, I would have needed to divide by 2 because of this factor of 2 on the inside. Remember when we take derivatives, we multiply by the derivative of the inside. So here that means I would have had to divide by the derivative of the inside. And plus c always when we do indefinite integrals. Over here, very similar. I'm going to have a 1 half. The antiderivative of 1 is theta plus the antiderivative of cosine 2 theta is sine 2 theta over 2 plus. Okay, and you can check that if you take the derivatives of these things, you will in fact get these and then you could undo the identity and get back to where we started. So this is all valid operations. Um, so pretty much anytime you see sine squared or cosine squared, you're just going to apply these two identities. And if you like, you can actually memorize the answers to them. I wouldn't recommend to do that. Uh, that's just more memorization. So I would recommend just memorizing these two identities. So let's do just a harder problem. Similar, but harder. So let's do the integral of cosine to the fourth theta d theta. Okay, well, the trick here is that I'm going to use the same identity, but it's going to be squared. So if I write the fourth power as cosine squared squared, taking advantage of properties of exponents, well, then on the inside of these parentheses, I can apply that identity that says cosine squared is 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2. Now that's all squared. And if I now distribute this exponent, that's going to be 1 plus cosine 2 theta squared over 2 squared is 4 d theta. So I'll pull out that 1 fourth and then I'm going to have to foil this guy. So it's going to be like 1 plus cosine 2 theta times 1 plus cosine 2 theta. So I can do my first inner outer last. First is 1 times 1 is 1. I'd have cosine 2 theta times 1 plus another cosine 2 theta times 1. That's going to be 2 cosine 2 theta. And then I've got cosine 2 theta times cosine 2 theta. That's cosine 
squared of 2 theta d theta. And now we're almost ready. But look at this. I've got the cosine 2 theta squared again. So I need to apply that identity. Cosine squared turns into 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2. But remember, we already had a 2 theta. And if that's the half angle formula, I need to double that to 4 theta. So if you missed that little trick, rewind the video a couple seconds and you can see what I did there. And now I'm ready to actually do this antiderivative. The antiderivative of 1 is just theta plus 2. The antiderivative of cosine is sine of 2 theta. But I have to divide by that 2 on the inside. I'll keep this 1 half out front. The antiderivative of 1 is theta. The antiderivative of cosine 4 theta is sine of 4 theta over 4 plus c. And there you have it. So a lot longer, a lot more annoying. Um, and you know, I, I could clean this up, you know, I could cancel these twos, I could distribute the one fourth, but I'm not going to do that in this video. Your main concern is how do you actually perform this integration. So the trick is if you've got cosine to the fourth, you write it as cosine squared squared, and then you apply this half angle identity. Okay, I hope you got something out of this video. Please like and subscribe. I put new videos up almost every day. And thanks again for watching.